Hey everybody, it's Robin Scherzer with Robin Stampin' Hood. Welcome to Maker Monday and almost Easter. So I realized I haven't really made a lot of Easter cards, so we're going to do some Easter treats today and an Easter card. But first, I want to talk about my In Color Club. So I don't know if you saw it out on my Facebook business page, but... Um, I have another in color club coming, coming up and I love these colors. They are so bright and fun. I can hardly wait to start playing with them. And I think you'll really like them too. Um, they're much, uh, more happy, I guess, than the colors that we had this past year. I do like some of the colors that we had last club, but these are much more my style. So I hope you can join us in doing this. So you'll get five colors, one color every month. So it lasts for five months and you do have to commit to each month. Um, and then you would get your package of cardstock, your ink pad, your 10 yards of ribbon, shimmer black, uh, gems, blends, and we'll make three cards with envelopes. Now, if you are not local to me, you can still do this and I would ship you the supplies that you need because I create the cards and I have different elements I throw in there that are not part of this, but you would use your own card stock, your own DSP, all that kind of stuff. And then I would give you the measurements on how to create the cards that I've created. So if you would like to join me this year, let me know. Again, it, you can do it in person or you can do it distance. It doesn't matter. So that's the first thing. Uh, second thing is we have my make and take three coming up on um, this Friday from three to six and we'll make three projects and, um, it's a $15 charge or if you place a $30 order, it's free. April 13th, I still have room at my create sampler class. Some of you have asked me if you can do a makeup day. We will also be doing that makeup day ahead of time on this Friday. So you're welcome to come this Friday to do the create uh, sampler as well, or April 13th. And then I have my new card buffet that I'm doing April 19th, which is a Friday and April 20th, which is a Saturday. So you can come anytime between six and eight on April 19th or between 10 and noon on April 20th. So that's a $16 charge for four cards and envelopes. Um, I am having my catalog kickoff on May 11th, two sessions, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. I'll be posting that, that out there tonight. I finally got my graphics done for it, so I'm going to go ahead and get that out there. Uh, the last chance list is is going to be coming out. Uh, it is out, uh, but you can't get the discounts until April, but take a look at um, what it says and what's out there because there are some things that are 60% off, So it's a, but it's while supplies last. And then just a reminder, as I said before, um, the new catalog is going to bring some price increases, mainly on cardstock, envelopes, uh, re-inkers, uh, that kind of stuff. So, And I will post a list out there too. So make sure you get that stuff now while it's at a lesser price. So that's it. So let's go ahead, check out my schedule online and see what you want to do. And I hope you can come to some of the things if you haven't. So let's go ahead and start. So like I said, Easter is Sunday, right? So I thought, oh my gosh, I haven't done any Easter treats or anything like that. So when I was cleaning out my um, craft room, I'm slowly still doing that after a year, I discovered um, we had made one of these a long, long time ago. And, but it looked very different. Um, I'll show you. I kind of destroyed it because this is what it looked like when we made it a while back. This has at least been, I'm going to say three years or so. Um, but this is the new one we're going to make. So I'm going to just show you. See, look at that. It holds a cute little milk chocolate bunny. This is great for um, if you have grandkids and you just don't want to give them a lot of baskets. I heard the ladies this weekend talking about that, how... They are not going to spend tons of money on Easter baskets for the grandkids. They'll do it for their kids, but the kids can do it for their kids. So I thought this is a cute little way to give your grandkids or coworkers a little Easter treat if you'd like. So I'm going to show you how to make that real quick. Hopefully it'll be real quick. Whoops. 
just dropped a stamp on the floor with a block. So we'll get going here. So what you're gonna need is cardstock and designer series paper. Now I did you grab um, the designer series paper that's in the, the uh, mini catalog, the lavender bundle. And cause to me, Easter is purple. <laughs> If that makes sense, you know, they always like had different colors, like the pastors always had different, I don't know what they're called, you know, the things that go around their neck and they were always purple. So for me, in my head, Easter's purple. So I had everything cut up. Where did I put it? Over here. Okay. So this, you need two strips. Uh, one, this strip is 11 by two and a half. And then I just made this strip um, a quarter of an inch smaller. So this is two and a quarter by 10 and three quarters. So I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna glue this together. Uh, it's better to glue it together. Actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna use this side because I used, no, what side do I wanna use? I think I will use the same side that I used. I was gonna switch it around with this, but I think this is too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and you wanna, glue this down first and then you're going to score it because there's a lot of scoring involved in it and then we're going to do some die cutting where the little bunny sits so you just want to you know like you normally would glue something down right all right and then let's see we're going to get some of this stuff out of the way so i can put my cutter score down here and like I said, we got quite a few scores to do. So I'll, I'll say them slow so you can write them down if you wanna do this. Cause this would be a really easy, you don't need really anything special other than paper and whatever Easter stamp you wanna use. So this is Gorgeous Grape. And like I said, this is the lilac or the uh, lavender paper that's in the, I'm trying to think the exact name of it. It's called, hold on, I'll tell you. It's perennial lavender. I knew the word lavender was in it. Okay, so we are going to score at two and three quarters. So two and three quarters. The next score is three and a quarter. And I'm pressing a little harder because I'm going through two pieces of paper. So normally you wouldn't hear me like really ramming into it like that, but you have to. And then your next score. So first two scores, two and three quarters, or two and two and yeah, two and three quarters, three and a quarter, seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters, nine and a quarter, and nine and three quarters. And that's it. So the score again is two and three quarters, three and a quarter, seven and a quarter, seven and three quarters, nine and a quarter, and nine and three quarters. So that's what you have here. So I'm gonna set this aside now, I don't need that. And we're gonna go ahead and just do all the score lines real quick. Cause now we need to do a little cut out. Now, in the, the project that I did earlier, a few years back, um, I had a punch that worked with it, but there that punch is not here anymore. So I went through my dies and said, okay, well, what can I use that would work with my dies? And I was able to, oh, we might have a little light problem there. This die is out of, this is perfect too, because there's a bunch of them. It's out of the cracker and treat box die. So you could use any of these, but I just chose that one. So what we're gonna do is take our little embossing machine. I'm gonna have to turn it around, I think. And so all the different scores, the very last smaller, where the smaller flap is, because this bigger flap is for the cover. So the smaller, the smaller score, I'm gonna lay this right in there, if it's actually quite perfect. But then I'm gonna tape it down with my tape because we don't want it moving. And then let's go ahead and put it through our machine. And because we're doing 
two pieces of cardstock, I think I'll do it twice. I, I'm not normally a twice through person, but when it's this thick, I almost think we have to be. So we're gonna go ahead, roll it through twice. That should do it. And let's see. Yep. Cut it nice and perfect. I'm just being careful pulling that tape off because sometimes it does grab where it shouldn't grab. So then you can see we have that nice spot for our bunny to go through, right? All right, so now the rest of it is super easy to put together. So this actually, and you can see this cut it just a little bit. So I'm going to just put a little dab of glue to hold it down. This is so easy, you guys. I know sometimes you think, uh, really? Because we were so close to the edge on this, it looks like it cut this over here too, which is fine. We just need to glue it down. I didn't have glue on those two spots. So we just want to make sure it's not popping up. Oops, come on, glue. I think I got it. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so then what you're going to do is you're going to take, I'm going to use tear tape because you know how I always say, if you're using, if you're doing something that someone's going to be pulling on, you definitely want to use a strong adhesive. So I'm gonna use three pieces of tear and tape. And so you're just putting it right on the end piece here. And then you're gonna pull up your, I'm gonna give it a little rub to make sure it's down there good. And then you're just gonna pull up, come on. Hardest part, right? Pulling these little pieces off. All right. Oops, <laughs> hardest part. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and lay it down. We, we wanna make it square when we lay it down. So like a, you want your 90 degree angle, you wanna make sure it runs right along the edge, which I think that works. So it's like that. I'm a little off, but I'm okay with that. And then it's gonna close like this with your overlaying piece like this. So let me show you what I did here. I just took a retired little circle punch. I picked the smallest one I had because of the ribbon I'm gonna use. So I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not, I'm not gonna get too worked up over if it is not exactly perfect because whoever you give it to is not gonna care. So this is one of the ribbons that is retiring, the Parakeet Party, that's one of the in colors that's going away. So I had a ton of this ribbon and I thought, oh, this is perfect for Easter, right? But I wanted to make my little, um, I know I cut way too much, so I'm gonna be wasteful. So don't, don't judge me here. Um, I wanted my little uh, handle to be thicker than just one of these strands. So I'm gonna just take a stylus and poke it through um, this ribbon is a little hard to work with. It wasn't my favorite, but I think it's so pretty. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie a few big knots. I, I chose a punch that had small, smaller holes, you know, not the, the big quarter inch punch. Oops, I just totally messed that up. So let's try that again here. Can't really tell what I'm tying. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am messing that up big time. Let's try it one more time, shall we? I just wanna get a double knot in place so it doesn't go through the hole that we've created. So like that, so that should work. So we're just gonna trim off the stuff we don't need. And now we're gonna go, oops, and bring this back. Again, I know I have way too much ribbon and that's okay. I would rather always have too much than not enough because then when I go to do a project and I don't have what I need, it's very irritating. So I'm just gonna pull this through if it will allow me to. See how it shreds, it shreds pretty easy. Even though I think it's pretty and I really love the, like the glittery effect of it, I was never super crazy about that part of it. So I'm actually gonna grab my stylus again and see if I can push it through that way. 
There we go. And the same thing, I'm just gonna make myself a big knot so it doesn't go through. Gosh, darn it. All right, come on now. Now it's saying, no, no, don't tie me. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try one more because I think the bigger the knot, the better, so it doesn't pull through those holes. Ah, yay, we did it. All right, and I'm just gonna trim that off. And then that is our little handle for the container. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do is I wanna do my little decorations. And I was undecided like about, I put the grass there and I'm not really sure I'm crazy about the grass, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So this is Parakeet, Parakeet Party. And again, it is one of the things that is one of the in colors that's gonna go away. So if it's something that you like, you definitely need to get it because they will start selling out quite quickly once that um, comes, you know, once people realize, oh my gosh, we got to order that because it's going away. And make sure you get the refill with it as well. All right, so I'm just going to kind of randomly, I'm going to stamp this a little bit lower. You can see I didn't really hit it there. So I'm going to try doing that now. Oops, I'm doing it on the wrong side. Oh my gosh, you guys, let's try that again. Because, you know, the Easter eggs are hiding in the grass, right? All right, so we got that. Again, parakeet party is going away. And then we want to put our eggs down. And because I'm going to color it with blends, I want to use Memento ink. So we're just going to kind of randomly put them there. Those are so cute. And this, if I didn't tell you, I can't remember, comes from this set, the Easter Bunny. So you have an Easter, we're gonna use an Easter treat for you, the eggs, and then the little grass are there. And this has a punch. Um, I have not looked very hard at the, um, the retirement list, so I'm not sure if that's one that is going away or not. It's been around a couple years, so it might be. So you'll just need to look. Okay, so then I'm gonna grab the Easter treat and the gorgeous grape. And we're just gonna stamp that toward the top here. I don't wanna hit my eggs. Perfect, all right. And then I decided because the ink colors that are going away are so nice and bright, I wanted to use those to color my eggs. So again, this is Par Parakeet Party. This is Tahitian Tide and this is Orchid Oasis. So again, these are three of the in colors that will be leaving us. So I'm just gonna color in our egg real quick. I'm using the finer point just because the it's so small, the area that we're gonna you know color that I just wanna make sure that I'm not bleeding over into other areas. So bear with me. We'll do that one. And ooh, where should we go? We'll do this. Just randomly. Oops, I just bled over like I said I wasn't going to do. And I'm going to just color here since the grass is hitting right here. Then it won't look so crazy. All right, and then I think I'll do one up here and there. <clears throat> oh, let's do this since I have out the parakeet party and then we'll go to the oasis or the tahitian tide oh my goodness so fun they're such bright colors when you think of easter eggs i think of very bright fun colors all right here we go mm -hmm. guess we needed to do this over here okay Right. Oh, we missed a we missed a little part of the egg right here, and then right there. So there, easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? All right, so let's go ahead then, and I'm gonna use um, where's my punch? Hello, Mr. Punch, where'd you go? Right here, the decorative circle punch, 
and the gorgeous grape. We're gonna go ahead and put that together. And then we'll create our closure on the little treat box. Okay, good, good, good. So what you wanna do is this is gonna come down like this and we're gonna put a little Velcro thing. So you're only gonna do half of that on the box. So just keep that in mind when you go to glue it down, you don't wanna glue the whole thing down. So I wanna make sure I'm going the right way first of all. And I'm just gonna put glue on this part of it. And then that should do it. I'm gonna just give it a little hold down. All right. And then what I did is I went and got um, Velcro dots from the Dollar Tree and they're pretty big. So I just cut mine in half and I only have one of these little bunnies. So I'm going to grab him out of here. So I'm going to actually put the bunny in here. So I have something to like press against, but I cut the Velcro dot in half. And what you want to do is um, keep them together like that. Oops, I need to. I need to cut this. Okay. So you wanna keep them together when you go to put them on your project. So I'm gonna actually put it, actually I'm gonna turn it around here. I'm gonna put it right here on the tab. And then I'm gonna pull off this piece of plastic and I might have to readjust it because it's acting kind of silly. Um, make sure it's lined up correctly. And then I'm just gonna close this and press it down. And then just give it a good rub, make sure it's good to go. I'm a little low, aren't I there? Okay, and then so when you pull it up, it's where, oh, it's a little crooked, but it's okay, it doesn't matter, right? So there you go, you have a really cute little Easter treat for like said a grandchild or a coworker or whatever, just for a friend. Okay, so there's a treat, but we need a card, right? And this will be for, this is not a child's card. This is just something I realized I needed some Easter cards to send out. So I just wanted to keep it really simple. And um, let's do that. So I went back to this paper again because I felt like, oh, you know, it's very... Uh, when it comes to Easter, we need the purple, right? So crumb cake is one of the colors that is in this. So my base is crumb cake. And I'm not going to put a white piece in here. Now you could if you wanted to, but I feel like you can write in this no problem without seeing. Some people would finish it off. I'm not, I don't think I'm going to, not right now anyways. So then I'm going to take um the paper that I cut so I just cut a four by five and a quarter pretty peacock and then I cut down these strips uh this is um let's see this is five by two and a quarter and this is five by I believe one and a half let me just double check that yep one and a half so there so I'm gonna glue those down I'm going to grab my embellishments, though. I forgot them. Hold, please. Speak among yourselves. I was going to put some more of the, the purple shimmer on there because the, they're so pretty. All right. So let's get this down. I know I don't usually make two things on Maker Monday, but I felt like, oh my gosh, we don't have much time. Easter's almost here. So then I'm just gonna lay that, frame it out on the, oops, it's wanting to do its own thing. Um, this is why I like the glue, because you can, you can wiggle it a little bit, because I did not lay that down correctly. And we're gonna, I, wow, Oof, hold on here. I am really messing that up. So let's try that again, shall we? Oh my goodness. 
<laughs> like I said, this is always adventures with Robin. But it doesn't matter that that's like that. It's this paper that matters. So I think we're okay. We just need to... I might have to put some more glue on it because I've left it all where I shouldn't have left it. Oh, let's try that one more time, shall we? That was a little ugly. Okay. All right, we're going to do this. All right, oh my gosh, so much better. So there you go. Nobody sees the ugly underneath, so that was okay. As long as that piece isn't damaged, we're all right. And then we're going to go ahead and put this one down as well. Okay. And I'm going to frame that out just like the other. Okay. All right, and then let's put that here. All right, and then our last piece, like I said, I'm keeping this super, super simple. Um, I've cut this piece out of, oh boy, I'll have to tell you later. I can't remember, but I'm going to grab my grape again, my gorgeous grape. Oops, that's not what the one I want. <laughs> and out of this set here, I bought Easter lilies, and I really wanted that. I did not buy the dies for this, because I'm, I think I told you guys before, I'm not a fan of Easter lilies, even though I know they represent what I want it to represent, but I'm not a fan. So I really like this card. So it, he's risen. Get this out of the way. We're gonna pop that up. This is such a simple, pretty card. I just, it's perfect, you know? And when I think about, about the resurrection and stuff, this is, this to me, it's not about gaudy and crazy. It's, this is perfect for me. So I'm gonna do that across there. And then I'm gonna grab my shimmer gems because we do need a little, we don't wanna go too crazy, but we do want a few little things, right? So we'll put one, we'll do, we'll do the three, a little trick of three and right there. And there you go. There you have an Easter card and a little Easter gift or a little Easter treat. So that's it, you guys. Um, thank you for joining me. And I will see you on Therapy Thursday for sure. And if you can come on over on Friday for my Make and Take 3, there's plenty of room. Just let me know you're coming. And that is from 3 to 6 on Friday. All right, you guys, have a great rest of your week. Thank you so much for joining me and happy stamping.